We got E3 announced, boys. Let's go. That means not only is E3 announced, Nintendo will be participating in E3. I mean, it's not a shocker, but we didn't get news of that. And now it is official news. Nintendo will have a presentation at E3. And you know what? Where my mind goes, if you watch this channel, it's going straight to Smash. I want to make another video diving a little bit deeper into it. But, man, we're talking about E3 reveals. Who could it be? Now, I imagine that Steve was, it's, it's like common knowledge, everybody thinks that Steve was supposed to happen at E3 last year, but of course, as we all know, the circumstances going on in the world, E3 was cancelled, so Steve was definitely going to be that hard hitter at E3. Steve broke Twitter, he was still a hard hitter, but again, everybody thinks that Steve was meant for E3, and his proper showcase would have been at, like, it makes sense for Steve to be an E3 reveal. So, every time, when we talk about E3, it's such a big thing for gaming, it's, it's such a huge, huge platform, so, you gotta think... We have two more fighters coming, two more fighters coming, and maybe, maybe one more with a bonus fighter, and if you really, really want to start getting risky with it, we could have a third fighter's pass, but I'm not banking on it. You gotta think that one of those two characters that are coming are a big, big hitter. I'm thinking that, uh, <laughs> tough to say. I mentioned this in another video, but I am starting to lose hope for Crash. A lot of people are thinking, uh, if you look at any of the YouTube videos made about E3 already, a lot of comments under it say, yes, let's go Crash for Smash, and I want nothing more than Crash and Smash. Don't get me wrong, he's one of my most wanted characters of all time, but I can't lie, I am starting to lose hope for Crash, because there's been so many things that were going, hey, this happened, maybe Crash 4 is out, this is a good time, we have a Smash reel coming, this is going on with Crash, this is why Crash is going to be revealed for the next character, and we see that so many times, so many things kept happening, that made us think that Crash was coming, and then he never did. This could be another thing. If Crash, it, like, a lot of people are speculating Crash. Again, we don't even have a reason to speculate Crash. I understand at this point that it could be anybody. We'd have no idea who's coming. It's just fun to talk about. You know what I mean? So... Now, what we do know is that Microsoft and Ubisoft will be there, and I'm not saying that there will be a presentation together, but... It says something that those, they're all together, there's a lot of platforms going on at the same time Nintendo. You could really say this about anybody, but Ubisoft makes me think Rayman, Microsoft makes me think Master Chief. If you want to really, like, dive deep into, like, a prediction here, if I had to make a prediction, here's what I have for you. We still don't have a date for Halo Infinite. We know they're still working on it, it's supposed to come out this year, maybe it get even gets delayed next year. Two more fighters, also supposed to be coming out at the end of the year. So Halo Infinite and Smash Bros., both have things that are going to be out by the end of the year. If you want to talk about those two together, maybe having a presentation together again, highly, highly speculative. Don't know again if this is going to happen. It's just if you're making me make a prediction here and I'm kind of, hey, Kyle, make a prediction. Nobody's making me make a prediction. I just want to talk about it. Master Chief could be coming. That would be the big, big hard hitter. And yes, Master Chief isn't popular overseas, but I, I actually don't know how big Minecraft is over there, but regardless, we have had hard-hitting Western characters before. Why not again? It's E3. It's mostly, I want to say it's mostly a Western event. Like, it, it, it would make sense. It, it would make sense if you want a really, really hard-hitting character. Crash is that guy. But if Crash isn't coming, I think that Master Chief has a better shot, to be honest with you. And for Ubisoft, you could always go the Rayman route, but again, I'm I just like Crash, I'm kind of doubting that Rayman's coming at this point. Rayman... I actually do want more than I want Crash. Rayman's one of my most wanted characters of all time, but I'm thinking E3. You gotta think hard, hard hitting reveals. Something like Steve, but nothing can be bigger than Steve. Even if Crash came out, I'm pretty confident that nothing would be bigger than Steve. Steve was the biggest reveal you could have possibly done in Smash Bros. Steve is miles ahead of Crash, in my opinion. So when, you're, when you're talking about like breaking Twitter qualities, definitely Steve. And I'm so happy Steve is in the game, by the way. How cool would that have been for an E3 reveal? I'm glad, like, everything worked out the way it did, but at the same time, like, imagine if that was at E3 Steve's reveal. Crazy stuff, man. It's just absolutely crazy. So, I hope we get more news on what's going on. I doubt we will, but I, I don't know if I'll make a video diving deeper into it. I, I can't wait to watch all the YouTubers speculating on what's coming on E3. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. So, I wanted to get my prediction out there for you guys. Let me know what you think. Again, I am totally, totally aware that anything could happen. I don't even think that I'm going to be right here. I'm just thinking, hey, you're making me make a prediction here. Yeah, I'm going to go with Master Chief. Could you imagine? Oh, my God. I know this probably won't happen, especially at E3. Imagine how hard-hitting Waluigi would be. I'm thinking Nintendo wants to give us their best character. I, I would imagine, like, if we have two more characters coming, one more is going to be something a little bit lackluster, something that, like, people like me who just enjoy playing the game, enjoy playing another character will enjoy. But, there's of course, there's a lot of fans that are just like, hey, if it's not someone like Crash, I don't want him. You know what? And then they're like... Oh, I paid for the fighter's pass, and I didn't expect to get this garbage. I'm not here to rant about those people, but you bought something that you said, I don't care what it is. Give me it. So, 
I, everyone should just enjoy the characters, to be honest. That's it's just my outlook on them, and I am totally flying off the rails with this conversation here. But anyways, what I was talking about is we're going to have one more lackluster character. That's just my thoughts. And then one hard, hard-hitting one. And it's not going to be the hard-hitting one won't be last. I think that it will be at E3. That's when Nintendo wants to have their biggest presentation because there's so many eyes on them. And if that's Master Chief, if that's Crash, that's the time to do it. And that's what I'm thinking. So if Crash doesn't come here... I'm a little skeptical that he's even coming at all. So, guys, I wanted to get my prediction out here. I wanted to talk to you guys in the comments. What do you think? Do you think, like, we have to be getting a Smash reveal D3? I am totally on that train. Could you imagine if we didn't get one? There, there has to be one. It just has to be one. Could you imagine if there's not? But anyways, guys, I wanted to talk to you guys down below. What do you think? Do you think we're going to get a character prediction or character reveal at E3? I can't wait for it. And for those of you who follow the channel... I will try to remember to put a card up on the screen here. But for those of you who follow the channel, I will definitely be uploading another Funny Reactions video just like we did for the Game Awards. I've been wanting to do another video like that. So for those of you who enjoyed that video because I got a lot of nice comments on it, I will definitely be doing that again for E3. Probably the same people doing it too. So guys, if you haven't watched that video, feel free to go check it out. I'm going to plug it in there. Go watch that video. Funny Reactions from the Game Awards. And I think they're pretty funny. I think we're pretty funny. But <laughs> that's for you guys to judge, of course. But thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're new here and you enjoyed the content, please consider hitting the like button. It would help out the channel a ton. And subscribe if you'd like to see more Smash Bros, Nintendo, and Fortnite content. A couple more things to plug in. I have another channel. It's called Talking Fights with Kyle. If you like UFC, MMA, any of that stuff, go subscribe over there. I'll leave that for link in the description down below. Also, I have TikTok now. I post on TikTok. So if you want to go follow me there, it is all lowercase, Clint underscore YT. And lastly, if you play Fortnite, I have a supporter creator code. It is Clint dash Coke. If you'd like to support me in the item shop, I would really appreciate that. Hashtag ad IMA hashtag epic partner. Thank you again for watching, guys. Do not forget to comment down below. I want to hear what characters you think that we're going to get revealed. Do you think I'm right about Master Chief? Do you, are you with me? Or are you losing hope for Crash? Let me know down below, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care.